Oh boy, good morning. Guess what? Drum roll, please. September 1st. September 1st, 2020. And uh, we're just leaving our campsite here. We actually shared this with somebody else last night when we came in. Uh, Rev was already here. Um, he was. I think we actually woke him up because we came in at almost 8.30 at night. And he goes to bed super early because he gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning uh, to start hiking. So, boy, um, I'm glad we're not hiking partners because <laughs> that's, that would not work out for me. But uh, we're going to... We got 10 miles to go to the um, dirt road, the Forest Service road that leads into Trout Lake. We're hoping to get a ride there and end up in Trout Lake later this afternoon where we're probably going to end up taking a zero to do resupply, um, take showers, do laundry, all the usual trail stuff. And uh, oh yeah, get a, a hot meal. <coughs> Goldie can get her lemonade <coughs> and... Uh, and refresh ourselves for the next skip. So what mile are we at now? 2219. Mile 2219, which, um, well, you have to look that up because I can't even tell you where that is. Middle of Washington somewhere. Before Trout Lake. Yes. Before Trout Lake. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Snack break while waiting for Goldie to come down that trail. I think she might have uh, been waylaid by a Bigfoot because she's not usually this far behind. But we stopped for a little water break right here to cool off. Ah, here she comes. Let's see if we can get her crossing the water without falling in. That may be the first time I've seen you cross a creek without walking right through the middle of it. So we finally made it in Trout Lake. <coughs> of course, you know see two characters, but but uh, two more friends walked up while we were sitting here BSing. I'm gonna zoom down. Say hi. Okay, and Firefly. Yes, Firefly. And Yin -yang. even though he's covered with hair on his face right now, you, this is uh, making his making his third appearance on my channel. <laughs> I just Yin Yang. Like yeah, he's been he's been following us. So I'm starting to worry now. But, uh, Where are they at? Yeah, he was first at, at Lee Vining. And then we ran into him again with his uncle Chippeway there in Tuolumne Meadows. They're actually between Tuolumne and Sonora. And, uh, and he's caught up with us yet again. Here we are. So uh, good to see you again. So you're still on the trail. And uh, these, two are, these two have been hiking together. So um, we made it today. Yeah. Made it today. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank so. you. Okay. Well, we're all headed out to get something deep because it's 6 o'clock and we're starving. So yeah, food, you'll find food, a place. Yeah. Here we are again down the street at the cafe in Trout Lake. And nice hot food. I can't wait, I haven't even dove into it yet. But Yin Yang, Firefly, Goldie, Kipper. Check out that food. Hasn't even been touched yet. Wow. 
you get a picture of that food while it's still there. Okay, it is eight o'clock at night and uh, I'm just walking solo down the highway. We uh, finished our, our late dinner at the Trout Lake Cafe. I don't even know what the name of the place is, but it was a cafe in Trout Lake, so that's what I'm calling it. Skipper and Goldilocks. They went on ahead of me by about 20 minutes because we had to get to the little uh, inn or motel, whatever we've rented, by 8 o'clock because after that the, uh, the front desk closed up and we wouldn't get our key. Uh, so I went ahead and stayed and visited with Yin Yang and, and uh, Firefly and paid the bill and all that stuff. Tomorrow uh, we'll head back into town. Apparently this inn we're at, we're at has bicycles we can borrow. Um, of course, my luck with bicycles hasn't been the best, but aside from that, we'll ride the bicycles back into town, run the errands that we need to do, pick up the supply boxes that's waiting for us at the store, and get ourselves all prepped up and ready to get back on trail uh, the following day. So, so that's about it for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the morning. Good morning, it's uh, September 2nd, and yeah, you like my new hat? That's because we <laughs> we came in last night to the Trout Lake, and we got a, uh, a room in this pretty nice place, actually, the Trout Lake Inn. It's got a nice, uh, kind of a nice old-timey feel to it, kind of a log cabin-like thing. But um, they're a mile away from the store and the restaurant, so they allow, they have a few bicycles that they allow their customers to borrow for shuttling back and forth. So I'm on my way into the store to pick up our resupply boxes and, uh, and pray that I don't have a repeat of my previous experience riding a bike. So here we go. I guess I better slow down. I don't want to get a ticket. All right, rolling into the town of Trout Lake. I think this is a bar here. Can't tell. A couple guys sitting outside. Um, building under repair. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Ah, oh, but here we have it. The General Store. Got an elk rack on the outside of it, so <clears throat> let's go see what they have inside. I got a full backpack full of resupply stuff. The girls asked me to swing by the cafe and bring them back something for lunch. So here I am at the, well, I call it the Trout Lake Cafe. I guess that must be what it is because all it says on the outside is cafe. Okay, it's September 3rd and we're leaving this nice little, I guess you call it a, 
motel or an inn or whatever the heck it is. But uh, it was a nice place to spend a day and get our uh, laundry done, wash ourselves, and just um, get out of the woods for a day. We're now going to walk a mile up the road to the, get one last meal at the cafe, hit the little tiny store there to get a few of the resupplies we need, mostly just snacks and some lunch stuff. And then we'll be back on trail in the next couple of hours. Here we go. Trout Lake welcomes us. Pretty cool sign though. We got a metal 3D elk. <laughs> I like that. Seems funny that a town named Trout Lake would have a uh, an elk on their sign rather than a trout, maybe. <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> Yep, let's see, here we are back at the uh, Station Cafe. And we've been sitting here for like, what, <laughs> two and a half hours now? Uh, like four. Like th four hours? We left well, the hotel right. at 11. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's three. Yeah, and it's three o'clock. So, yeah, we're going on four hours here. We're not making much progress. But we did uh, pick up some more hiker trash here. Everybody say hi on camera. Hi. Hi yeah. camera. Shout yeah. out your name. 007. Pittsburgh. Happy. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Skippy. I mean Skipper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's actually somebody back at the other table behind us. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. So we invited her to join us, but she was gonna eat her lunch first. Mm -hmm. Anyway, everybody's sitting around having a grand time. It's almost 95 degrees out, so we're in the perfect spot here, sitting in a picnic table under the shade. Okay. So, drinking huckleberry shakes. Drinking huckleberry shakes, yeah. I've already already put mine away. But good stuff. Mm. Hey, back here at the general store, I got my little bit of resupply. Oh yeah, no <laughs> We'll see this. We'll see this junk that I need for uh, snacks and stuff on the trail. But everybody else has got their. There we go. No, I'm not Priorities. Uh -huh. I, I, I want to see that in your pack out there on the trail, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's, see this? It'll oh, be in my Jesus. belly. That's oh, not mine. Now there we go. These guys know how that's to. That's doing it right. That, that's a, a real hiker medicine there. There you go. Okay, today's been kind of chaotic. <laughs> Didn't turn out at all like we were planning. Our initial plan was to get out of our motel room about 11 o'clock this morning, checkout time. Uh, walk up the road to the cafe, uh, grab lunch, and then be hitchhiking by noon to head out to the trailhead. But uh, a couple things happened. It was hot, hot, hot day. Uh, the local temperature said 94 degrees. Might have even been hotter than that. Um, I was trying to upload a video because I know I'm going to be, you know, out on the trail for the next five days and probably won't have a chance to upload any once I'm out there. So, and that ended up taking longer than I thought. Slow Wi-Fi, thank you. And then when the other three hikers showed up and we sat around and started talking with them and uh, it got later and later, we realized, I guess we'll just hang out here today. So, 
Anyway, we uh, went into the store just a few minutes ago, bought all the snacks and lunch supplies that we need for the trail. So there's no reason we can't get up early tomorrow, tomorrow morning and, and blast out of here without further delay. But it looks like tonight is just going to be spent vegging out. Um, somebody's going to order a pizza, which we're excited to have. We haven't had pizza in quite a while. And then just, you know, visit with the other hikers, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's fun to do. So, um, anything else interesting happens, I'll put it on video. Otherwise, that'll probably be all for tonight. Well, 7 o'clock and we are hiking up to the campground where we're going to pitch a tent. Um, as awesome as it was staying in a motel the past two nights uh, at uh, $120 a night, split three ways, it's a little bit expensive. So... We're gonna camp out tonight for cheap, 10 bucks. And the three other hikers that we met for uh, lunch, they've actually ordered pizza tonight. So we're gonna go uh, have dinner with them. They ordered a ton of pizza, I guess. So we're gonna totally pig out, which is okay, because tomorrow I know we'll be burning off those calories and nothing flat. Okay, we're in the campground. Tents are pitched. over here and we're gonna walk down and try and find out where where we're having dinner tonight